Welcome back to my channel. I'm Nishita and you're watching Namaste. So today is the day that we are going to be traveling to Pruj. I am absolutely in love with the city. I have seen the pictures. I have seen the history and it is so amazing. It's literally called Venice of the North. Uh, so it is a city filled with canals and cobblestone streets and horse carriages. So it's literally out of an 80s movie. Uh, so I'm going to be traveling there by train. I have already booked the tickets. Off to have some breakfast first. My room has breakfast included. I'll meet you guys back at the train station and we will begin our brush journey. One thing I would recommend is traveling via train line from Brussels to Bruges or any other city in Belgium because it's convenient, clean and easily accessible. Plus I think you should have the experience. I'm finally at the Brussels station and it's so difficult to find your way around here because nothing is in English, it's all in French and uh, people here don't understand English so much. So I had a tough time finding the station. I asked a guy and he helped me out. So that was good. Very good. The train journey from Brussels to Bruges is about an hour and I just sat there and caught up on some of my travel plans and wrote in my diary. Although I did uh, put in some internet pack for roaming uh, in EU, I, I don't know why it just did not get activated while I was there uh, so I did not have internet on my phone and what I did was using the hotel Wi-Fi I downloaded offline maps for Bruges and Brussels uh, and you know while I had internet I just selected the points that I wanted to visit added those as stops and just left that as it is on my phone so I would get walking directions to those places and uh, this is how I, I literally traveled through whole of Bruges. First thing that you would encounter once you start walking into the city is Church of Our Lady and this dates mainly from the 13th, 14th and 15th century. It is the tallest structure in the city and the second tallest brick tower in the world with a height of 379 feet. The church has a beautiful gothic style exterior and is heavily ornamented from the insides which makes it extremely beautiful. While walking on Zoet Zandstraat street, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, you will see square and statue of Simon Steven. He is a famous Belgian mathematician and this area is also a main shopping area if you can see there are shops all around it and cute cafes where you can go and have some food and drinks. Next we will be going and taking a tour of one of the main monuments in Bruges which is the Belfry of Bruges. This is a beautiful medieval bell tower that dates back to the 13th century and it is about 83 meters high. 
the view from the top is just mind blowing and it is a must see Right in front of Belfry of Bruges you will see the Bruges Market Square uh, where people often gather and come with their families to soak in some sun and the beautiful view of the Belfry of Bruges. I went on to check out some shops on Wallstrad Street and I found some amazing tapestry shops just in case you need some souvenirs or gifts to take back home and I also found this beautiful and cute little chocolate shop from where i ended up buying uh, you know around 45 chocolates from the amazing lady in there um uh, i'll have five of the hazelnut um i'll have the crispy brenton 5 which one is your best seller <laughs> um, this one okay <laughs> okay oh wow so i'll have 5 and 5 each lady from whom i bought the chocolate you guys was so cute when i complimented her on her shop she told me that it's her and her husband's business and she doesn't let anyone run it other than her you know family her sons and daughters she told me that you can visit the website and you can have all the ingredients of the chocolate on the website so if you guys come to bruges i would recommend you guys go and take chocolates from her Next I booked tickets for Choco Story Museum in Bruges and the place is massive you have so much to see and if you're interested in chocolate you should go and check it out it will give you a deep understanding of how chocolate was made how it evolved Chocolate is made. Mm -hmm. 
we need digital AV room, audio visual room. Plus, I also got to see a nice demo over there of how they make the chocolates and the guy there was um, kind enough to give all of us who were watching the demo some free chocolates. As I mentioned before, Bruges is called Venice of the North in Europe and you should definitely go and have a boat trip on its canals. It's extremely peaceful and beautiful. I'm pretty sure we can go on canopy rides on these beautiful canals and I'm sure it will be super romantic. I do miss Rohan too much and next time when I visit with him, that's when we will be going on this canopy cruise. And last but not the least, Bruges has its walls filled with some cute graffiti and artworks all over the city walls and it just lightens up the city. I am back in the room and I am so exhausted. I think this is the most I have walked from the past six or seven months now big lockdown and everything you just don't get this much of exercise and this much of activity and i am so tired my feet are killing me I'm... but let me just show you what all i bought so for dinner i decided to take some chicken salad from this place that sells organic food it's called ex key and you will find a lot of branches all over the city and of course how could i forget belgian waffles i literally had waffles every single day that i was there and this one is strawberry and chocolate she gave me about 45 chocolates uh, in around 24 euros look at how cute she's packed it i i don't feel like opening it now i'm gonna open it directly in uh, ireland this is something that I bought from the Choco Story Museum. This is the complimentary thing that they gave us uh, for watching the demo, the chocolate demo. And here I have some classic drinking chocolate. Rohan uh, drinks hot chocolate, so I bought one for him. And, and I bought some of this uh, to give <laughs> for my mother-in-law especially because she loves chocolate. And I couldn't find anything with a, a higher expiry date this is 31st december 2021 so i thought this is the best i could get uh, and i bought this hand cream for my mom uh, i bought one for myself because i am just like her and i bought this nice little uh, chocolate and strawberry jam and i am so excited to try it because as i told you chocolate and strawberries are the best that's it for today guys if you enjoyed my bruges vlog please don't forget to hit the like button and guys come on don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next time until then take care of yourself and don't forget to keep playing